Chuck, thank you so very much for joining us here today. Really appreciate it. Excited to have this conversation with you. Um, for those who are listening in, thank you so much for joining today as well. I think we have a really cool topic to discuss. One, just really kind of getting to know all the things that Republic is up to right now um, and then diving in on their charter membership and some of the cool things they're doing to get you better access to deal flow, research, community, so on and so forth. So with that, Chuck, I know that you and I have known each other for a long time, but for those who don't know you, just give a little background on yourself and your your role at Republic. Uh, for sure. I think, I mean, just we should also hear a little bit about yourself as well and King's Crowd specifically. And you and I have known each other, I think, in the seven year mark, somewhere in there, maybe yeah, somewhere around there, so, um, pretty yeah. early on in the industry in the U.S. at least. Um, I'm a day one employee at Republic. Uh, back then, we were six people just focused on uh, investment crowdfunding. Uh, today, we're closer to a 300 person team with offices around the globe. Uh, we focus obviously on a lot more than just investment crowdfunding. Um, typically is what you see on republic.com when you make a visit there is all of our, uh, you know, retail investment crowdfunding activity. But as an EVP at Republic, I helped, you know, build out that retail team. I, I've worked on major uh, partnerships for uh, years on end, continue to do that, uh, work across different divisions at Republic, including our blockchain practice, our um, uh, you know, asset management group, on people, on um, you know everything, you know all the way down to fixing the the broken toaster kind of thing. That's kind of how startup life is, even with uh, three hundred people and eight years in, is um, is still necessary. So a lot of different hats that I wear, at Republic. I love it. Well, yeah, and and for those who, who don't know me, Chris Lestrino, I'm the founder and CEO of Kings Crowd. Um, been at this for a little more than six years with the very simple idea of bringing that research community data led approach to help all of our investors be able to make smarter, more informed investment decisions in this market. Um, so we'd love to uh, to uncover more about what Republic's up to. You, you kind of hit on it, but let's talk to you know all the different facets of the Republic business. I know you know there's the investment crowdfunding side and that's what you'll see if you go to republic.com. But there's actually a lot more that you're all up to. So let, let's talk about some of the different things you guys are working on. Yeah, and let's be sure also how this, um, you know, benefits and is a value add to, uh, you know, the network members at Republic. Um, you know, one of the things that we're actually probably most successful at is our, our blockchain division. Um, our advisory practice uh, helped companies from the ground floor, including, you know, Avalanche, Solana, Polygon, um, um, you know, Matic and, and many others. So we actually would provide services to those companies to help them, you know, design their token or their, or their layer one. We'd help them with tokenomics. We'd help them with exchange listing services. We'd help them with treasury management. We help them with capital raising, both on the uh, retail side of the business here at Republic on Republic.com, and as well as uh, through other capital market um, introductions. Um in addition to our what is now a very vast you know, blockchain operation, we also have uh, an asset management group. I'll call it that's uh, different funds that we manage uh, for investment directly into companies. Um, we've actually just um, recently formalized, and it's not you know it's not private information; it's public. Uh, these things are moving forward to Republic. We've actually had a little bit of press that has leaked out on it already too. But we're actually launching a, a, a digital fund, Republic Digital. It's going to 100% focus on the on the blockchain space. Um, that's being led by a gentleman who worked at a very large hedge fund, a, a $50 billion plus hedge fund as a principal for 20 plus years, who embraced the, uh, you know, the blockchain space about 10 years ago, has been running a fund for three years, returns of greater than 100% type thing uh, on an annual basis. And he has now joined Republic to run a, a digital fund for us. Um, so, you know, Republic you know, can be looked at as, you know, separate divisions, but the reality is, is that these things are starting to converge, uh, especially as you see our, our bet on the future has been for a few years now, and it's starting to come to fruition in a pretty big way that, you know, all things will be digitized, uh, especially when it comes down to security. So a digital security future, and we're actively and have actively been building out uh, the legal and technology rails to deliver that to investors and to people around the world. Um, and by legal infrastructure, I mean the licenses. That's why we have licenses in you know North America, uh, in the UK, in the EU. We are you know line of sight to getting a, a couple more in the Middle East, etc. So it just expands um, our reach and it, it gives more access to people around the world to um, private investment opportunities, whether they are accredited or non-accredited. 
Um, some will take different paths, but that's been our, our focus really and where we sunk the most amount of our investment in um, Republic over the last, I mean, last eight years, really. Wow. So something that, I, again, I even myself did not realize, um, one of the, the stats that you have is that $2.6 billion has been capital deployed from Via Republic. Yeah. Talk about, you know, some of the opportunities and things you've been doing. I know you have the Republic deal room that's seen some incredible opportunities in kind of the late stage markets. Help us to understand what that looks like and the types of investments you've been making. And again, how that kind of leads to really interesting deal flow to be able to offer via the charter membership. Right. And that number comes across uh, all different activities at Republic, in, including the, you know, the retail investment crowdfunding, both in the U S and in the UK and uh, the EU. Um, in addition to that, it also comes from um, our, our capital markets team. Uh, so either cap intro or private placement type activity um, pretty much split down the middle. So a, a lot of it has actually happened publicly for the crowd on the platform where everyone can basically access it. In that vein, we've also worked with over 30 companies that have gone on to become unicorns. Um, hmm. Some in the uh, investment crowdfunding part of it, some in the capital, some in the blockchain space. So um, had you know a large number of unicorns, but we've also worked on a large number of companies overall, like well north of like you know 2,500 companies uh, globally that we've actually um, curated and brought to brought to the platform for investment. And I know that you've also had exposure to uh, investment again, kind of later stage, you know, very largely VC backed companies that you've invested in. I think, you know, Robinhood when it was still in the private markets was potentially one. Yep. Can you talk about just a few of the names to help people kind of formulate what it looks like? Yeah, like Robinhood, Carta, SpaceX, uh, you know, Firefly. We actually have a pretty decent um, uh, position within the aerospace and, and defense industry. Um, we were major backers of a company named Firefly, a space rocket company. Axiom is another, the International Space Station. Um, relativity space and other, uh, you know, rocket company, et cetera. Um, obviously a lot in fintech, but our, I think our greatest concentration or our greatest positions actually have been in, in the blockchain space. So web three, um, not crypto, not cryptocurrency. We're not putting our money on Bitcoin and things like that. We're actually helping people build out layer one uh, protocols and other technology that will be and already are part of that web three ecosystem. That is so important to the future of, uh, you know, investing in, and actually just a, a lot of our day-to-day -day activity as, as you know, people. Um, so it goes beyond just the uh, the fintech space. So kind of hitting on that, um, you know, obviously there's investment cycles and opportunities to invest in various different markets over the years. Right now is a really interesting time to be an investor, uh, whether it's artificial intelligence, whether it's Web3. You know, can you provide us some kind of like analogous periods for investing and, and why now is an interesting time to be an investor in these all markets? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I have you have you by a few years, Chris. But um, <laughs> I remember, I remember, um, you know, the internet era, ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand, uh, the mobile era in twenty like two thousand five ish. It was the first time that the Apple iPhone came out. I actually bought an Apple iPhone from the iPhone store, Apple store on fifty ninth and Fifth Avenue. The day it opened, I worked in that building, the GM building, and I looked out my window, and there must have been a two mile long line. And I was working at a hedge fund at the time and I actually stayed, you know, my stupid hours till like two, three in the morning. And I walked out, there was zero line and the store was 24 hours. So I was like, is this possible? I walked in five minutes later, I had two phones, one for myself, one for my wife. <laughs> so I bought the <laughs> Apple iPhone the day it launched. Um, and then, yeah, more recently, um, obviously, uh, you know, blockchain web three, it's, it's, I think it's better presented as web three and artificial intelligence for sure. So what we're trying to do at Republic is, you know, and I don't know if the word's right, but like we're trying to exploit to this network all the different domain experts that we have at Republic. Because we have people on our team who, you know, they live through those eras and through those, those, those investing periods and they've learned a lot. And they've, they've come to their own in a certain industry um, or even these specific industries that are, 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 are large trend movers today that we're seeing like artificial intelligence and Web3. But we're not giving people in our community access to those individuals. And that's what this Republic Net Investor Network is about, is about giving them access to these individuals. Um, yes, I was a big part of Republic, but Republic is much bigger than me. There are dozens of other people here that no one really knows about because they are you know, heads down focused on what they do best. And, and these are very important and valuable things 
for our community to you know educate themselves from and, and, and have access to. So, and that's just one vein of the of the network, right? Um, you're going to hear from some of the top people, I believe, and I'm, I'm biased, obviously, because they're my teammates. But some of the top people in the world on these on these topics. But we go beyond that. Republic also has a massive partner network, where we work with a ton of different, like you know, big name uh, asset management, banks, fintech firm, technology, Silicon Valley, you know, venture capitalists, so on and so forth. And it, it, the list goes on forever. But they they are true friends of ours who with this uh, this product are willing to come on and spend their time to help shed light on not only just what they do, but to give like practical like education and guidance to people who are truly interested in learning more. It's a super easy, you know, non-invasive way to get high, high quality people, you know, in the door, but in Republic has that access to those individuals. So it's about time we told the, you know, the full story. It's about time we brought in like all these people who have supported us over the years and continue to be partners of Republic's, you know, now and in, in the future. And it's always best to obviously share when you can. No, I, I think that's really important. Obviously, something that we constantly, constantly push at King's Crowd is education, education, education. Do your research. Learn as much as you can before you go in and make an investment. So, and it's daunting on your own, though, right? Because you get like it is. It's a ton of like, I see thousands of deals a year, and sometimes yeah. I've only got like thirty. I mean, thank God, you know, I have a, a team of diligence people who who do the actual reviews. But like, I have thirty seconds sometimes, maybe three minutes another time, maybe thirty minutes. And it just all doesn't add up, though. And when it's just on you, it's it's pretty daunting. When you have others that who are, are are giving you, you know, direct practical guidance and advice, it's very valuable. Um, and that's kind of like I mean, my whole investing has always been for private investments. I'll, I'll say, what do you know about this, or who, who do you know on that team, or who do you know about their like their backers, etc. Like, um, you just need to have more people in your community to be able to make a, a, an uninformed decision before you open up your wallet. And this is definitely bringing that to those members. I always joke, like, I wish I was born in like the thirties or forties. And it's like, you create the Twinkie and you could have a billion dollar empire. Right. And it's like, Twinkies are easy to understand. It's like, do you like Twinkies? Great. We're good to go. But in today's day <laughs> and age, like the biggest opportunities are lying in artificial intelligence and space. Like these are things that I don't think any of us really understand Plus. or know about. So talk to me about some of the experts that you're kind of bringing in as part of the charter membership that you'll get to hear from, learn from, as you think about navigating some of these investment opportunities. Yeah, sure. Actually, I'm right on the, um, on the AI front, we have uh, Dr. Matthew Put Putnam. Um, he's a founder who's spoken at like the World Economic Forum. He's highly known in the artificial intelligence space. Uh, he'll be doing a session for our network members. Um, that one will only be shared with the network members um, just exclusively, but there are a, a lineup of other people who are coming out of or, or have actually been embedded in the AI world for a while. I actually know a guy from, he's been in artificial intelligence out of UCL in London for 25 years, 1999 is when he first started dabbling into artificial intelligence. Uh, we'll have him on as one of, as one of the uh, domain experts, uh, you know, close friend, um, colleague of mine out of London. I, I, well, actually, we need to touch on London too a little bit, but so people like that will be coming in with that type of like um, uh, expertise to, to speak to the network. And then of course, like internally, uh, we have people like Andrew Jurgi who's been in blockchain for, I want to put him in probably the... 14 year range, 15 year range. Um, he used to mine, he used to mine Bitcoin out of his house. He would mine anywhere upwards of like a couple thousand Bitcoin a month. I'm like, Andrew, like, how are you? You know, he's like, well, back then Bitcoin weren't that, you know, they weren't priced that high, but I would run up a, a couple thousand dollar a month bill on my, on my electricity. And I'd have to sell the Bitcoin to pay for the electricity. So uh, yeah, people are coming out of an experience like that. Like they've been in there since the, the day ones or the very early days of the uh, industry and they have a vast amount of knowledge. So these won't be just sessions that happen over like, you know, a 30 minute uh, period. They'll be visiting multiple times too because it's just so many things that they could talk about. Uh, the other one I'll talk, I, I touch base on, if you already are a network member, you, you may have already seen this one. If you're not, we can definitely, you know, recycle or reuse it too and, you know, share it with you. But Mo Islam, um, he was a partner of Republic's. He actually came and worked at Republic and, and put our flag in the ground in the aerospace and defense industry. Um, he was responsible for a lot of the um, different space companies that I mentioned before. Uh, he has uh, since moved on to go back to what he was originally doing. So we only had a part time. It kind of sucks because he was so good. But Mo and I had about an hour long conversation. Um, we went very deep into that industry and 
I was learning. I was like literally learning things as I was hosting and interviewing him. And it was a super exciting one that was very well received by the the network members at that time. So there'll only be more of those. I think we've got six or seven that have been recorded already. I know that we have another recording this week um, with the, with one of the AI people, et cetera. So there's going to be a constant stream of these pieces coming out that will help educate the network. So once you kind of get up to speed on some of these investment opportunities that, that exist, then it's about diving in and actually finding that deal flow. Yeah, you Talk should feel more about, comfortable. Yeah. What exactly. does that look like? And 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 are founders coming and pitching? How does it work within the charter membership? Yeah, so you'll be, I think, out of the gates more comfortable about things to you know to consider and be informed on. Um, these deals aren't always going to be present. There'll be times when there's a couple AIs or no AIs, or there's gonna be times when there's a couple like, you know, whatever blockchain, web three type activities, but like opportunities. Um, it's about being, you know, you, you need to stay on top of and engaged and, and following. Um, it's not that hard to do, but you'll want to watch and, and, and figure it out on your own as they come across the, uh, across your table. And then when you do find one that you're starting to dive into, I think, you know, it's going back to the network because we'll, we'll be providing, providing, um, you know, like, like pitch interviews with the founder that's for the network. So they'll come in and speak directly to you. You can ask questions to them directly in that pitch. If you happen to miss it, it'll be recorded. You can ask your questions even during the, you know, the, the, the rewatch, and those will actually go to the founder so that they can answer them directly. At the very least, you can always go to a deal page. Um, and most of them will have the ability for you to ask a question uh, on the page, and then they'll respond back typically within 24 to 48 hours. But as a, a network member, you'll have the ability to, um, you know, get to them earlier or get to them in a more like private setting. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to have the, that direct rapport with them through the network. Nice. That's awesome. And I think that's so important. I mean, we're always trying to find ways, whether it's through a podcast or demo days, everything you can to get people in front of the founders more because hearing it from their mouth rather than just reading the offering page, I think is really, really important to like actually get all the context of the investment that you're making. Um, I think that's fantastic. If we could talk a little bit about, you know, I, I know security tokens are, are kind of having a rise and, and you're seeing some interesting stuff there. And then in thinking about global investment opportunities, again, something that's kind of unique to Republic. Um, just yep. if you can dive in on a couple of those topics, I'd love that. Yeah, there's a lot of packaged in there, but um, let me actually just touch on, on Europe first. So, um, you know, part of Republic's you know, growth and um, expansion into the this industry was we acquired a company named Cedars. They were one of the first, world's first investment crowdfunding platforms. They're based out of London. That's our arm to uh, opportunities in the UK as well as uh, the EU. Um, that team alone comes with multiple, multiple uh, domain experts who will also be at some point interviewed um, there's a bit of a tricky, like, you know, if you're a U.S. citizen, the U.K. and EU, unfortunately, don't allow you to invest there, but it still will be relevant information that will be valuable to the network. Um, if you are a non-U.S. citizen, you can obviously participate in those deals, too, but just throwing out there to, to keep in mind. Um, they will also, you know, bring us other, I guess, angles to the uh, the trends in the industry and one of the trends right now is actually what you mentioned chris is these security token offerings some people are thinking you know was a security token offering it, it's it boils down to basically being a, a digitized equity stake uh, so it's just a, your standard equity everyone's familiar with but these have been digitized so that they can live in things like a, a digital wallet so that it can be exchange listed on a digital exchange much different than getting exchange exchange listed on say like a, a Coinbase or much different than getting exchange listed on like a New York Stock Exchange. Uh, there's a different route to being able to do it. It's much more um, feasible for, for companies to direct list in that, um, that process. But security token offerings, and this is something that actually excites me a lot, have been um, picking up steam over the last three to six months, especially. And it's not just... Hmm. That's just the idea of a security token offering. It's actually coming from um, very high profile companies, companies and sport franchises, you know, musicians and film uh, mm. that people are all familiar with, uh, like the, the biggest of the, of the biggest names, that's for sure. But not only are they coming and trying to, you know, hey, knocking our door, we want to we want to you know, explore the possibility of, of this type of capital raise from our fans, et cetera. But they're coming to us already educated 
on blockchain. They're already educated on uh, securities. They're already uh, educated on even campaigning, which is totally wild and unseen like in our industry in the last eight years. The other maybe bigger important part is, is that their network is supportive of it. And their network would be their board members, their attorneys, uh, other partners of theirs. Typically, that wasn't the case for the highest, like you get some very high profile household name private companies who wanted to utilize this to get, you know, to give the opportunity to the crowd, but the board would block it, their attorneys would block it. That has crumbled away somehow in the last three to six months. And the pipeline that we have right now with those profile companies is um, pretty impressive. So, you know, maintain our course, those companies will start to come out. There'll be a different flavor and opportunity for people for sure. And that's super exciting. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, keep my fingers. I, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. The team can, you know, deliver those across the finish line. I know they will. Um, you'll all be able to recognize who they are too, once they come. No, I mean, whether it's, you know, sports And then we'll get the or- network in there too, for like, you know, special opportunities or early access or direct, you know, conversations with say, like, you know, the team or the producer or the artist, et cetera. Um, that will be uh, something we'll, we'll bring to the network too. It, Cause it goes hand in hand. We're doing this for the other deals. It wouldn't it be just because it's, you know, a super high profile deal that we wouldn't do for the network. It's going to also be done for the network too. So you're bringing in experts, you're bringing unique and interesting deal flow across all the different things that you guys are working on. You're providing an opportunity to get those live pitches and actually ask Q and a to the founders and, and get more close interactions with the founders, which I think is super important. All of those things are deeply valuable. Talk to us a little bit, you know, for those who are listening about some of the other benefits, things that they they will get um, if they sign up for the Republic Charter membership that might make them interested in doing so. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's kind of just the icing on the cake. Um, and I would even argue that some of the other stuff is more valuable, but you you do get a reduction in fees and sometimes even no fees. Um, you know, that can save you towards your investment amount. Um, it can save you towards and you'll see it more on the European side towards your exit amount, et cetera. So it's um, obviously valuable to the wallet too. So that's a, that, that's the easy one. You can just look at that and be like, I know if I put in a hundred bucks, I'm going to save X. And I know if I put in 10,000, I'm going to save Y. So that's super simple to calculate, especially coming in for the network, you know, either the 200 or the $250 entry. It's, um, you know, pretty easy to think through what your actual value is out of it. It's, it's a lot greater than 250 bucks. Got it. No, that's that's really cool. Um, so for those listening, I'll, I'll kind of do the last question with you, Chuck, and then I'd love to open it up and see if there's questions from the crowd. And please write in any questions you have. Feel free to drop them in the chat wherever it makes sense for you. Um, so when you kind of think in totality why you guys decided to create the Republic Charter membership and what you're trying to do for investors to make their lives easier, better, all of those things, you know, how do you kind of sum it up, the, the value prop of what you're trying to do for investors? Um, I mean, the value prop is to educate and provide access. So look, investing is hard in the first place. Investing in private companies is is even more difficult, right? If I went to my TD Ameritrade account and I wanted to trade Apple, I'm going to be able to pull up 10,000 different things. That's probably, that's pretty daunting too, but um, I'm certainly not as a retail investor going to get, you know, some sort of, you know, community engagement or ability to have access or even specialized content or the ability to communicate with the source. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to keep, you know, we want to create that, that value for network members. Um, first and foremost is that they have, you know, the ability to learn, communicate, engage in content to be provided content that's actually curated and valuable specifically to them, etc. So, uh, and of course, like I said, the cherry on top is just obviously just like the the fee reduction. Yep. No, and I I, I do really appreciate, and, and I know a lot of people are making efforts here, but I really am seeing it with, you know, we've seen some of the deals that have gone through kind of the deal room at Republic and whatnot that are, you know, tier one unicorn type companies that are doing exceptionally well, big names in the space industry and in the web three industry and in the AI industry. Um and I, I think that's a real testament to all of these relationships and partnerships and things that you've built. The team that we have, yeah. And the team that you have. I mean, and, and again, on a global scale, I don't know if everyone here knows. I, I'm sure many of you do, but the Republic acquired Cedars a, a couple of years ago, like the largest crowdfunding platform in the UK. Like you guys have kind of inroads and roots and foundations in all of these markets. 
uh, and are really kind of pushing forward the, the the private capital markets, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, I mentioned like even like the Middle East and bringing opportunity, like invest <laughs> direct private investment opportunities in Middle Eastern companies and Middle Eastern real estate, et cetera. Like it's, um, there's a lot more to come to. So uh, one question that, that did come from the crowd for actually a, a current charter member um, individual who also said, thanks for the opportunity to get shares in DXYC through the membership. Um, but uh, they were just asking about where they could kind of find all of the presentations and content in one place. Um, is there, when you sign up for a membership, is there a place where you can go and find all the content at any given moment? In time? Like a community user platform uh, that's coming to a, 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 a website to you, near you soon. <laughs> so <laughs> we will. Yeah. Um, awesome. and, yeah. And that DX, DXYC as the um, stock symbol, stuff like that comes to Republic all the time. That particular founder, um, I, do you know about it, Chris? Uh, no, I actually don't. I've heard of it, um, but I don't know anything about it. So you know, like Forge, the secondary. Yep. So that founder, um, he left Forge uh, recently, and then he created a, a new company where he's giving people, you know, mainstream access through a publicly traded stock, uh, mainstream access to private company investments through a publicly traded stock. Mm. And he reached out to us. He knows who we are. We've known him for a while, et cetera. And he's like, I want to give away shares of, of this opportunity for free. Like, could you guys do that? And we're like, guess who gets first look as the network does. So those things do come to Republic, I'd say like on a monthly basis. We'll obviously sift through them, make sure they're legitimate. And that one was pretty easy just because we know who the guy is, et cetera. And he came from a very like, you know, prominent background in, in, in investing and in uh, private technology companies. So those are the type of things we'll look out for. Anything that would make the... Um, the network member and investors happy or we're, we're happy with too. One other quick item I want to hit on, I know you might be able to say less about it, but um, it goes to a question that we have. Can you talk a little bit more about the Republic note? Um, you know, it's recent. I know now it's actually tradable and all of that, but can you just talk about some of the developments on the Republic note and what exactly it is for those who don't know? Sure. So, um, joy, it was five years ago. We started that process. Um, we, at Republic, most of our business operations take a security and a cash commission from the founders that we work with. And where we could, because some of it's different regulations for you know different securities exemptions, but the majority of the um, issuers that we worked with, we were able to take that equity commission, dedicate it to one entity that we created at Republic, and then we digitize that that entity. We basically, you know, you could think of it as like fractionalized. It was digitized, basically, we, we or it would be tokenized in this case. Then we um, sold it private, privately and publicly uh, to investors. So they were buying um, exposure to all past, present, and future companies that Republic worked with that, got, that we got an equity commission from or would be getting an equity commission from. Again, depending on the securities exemption and which entity it went through. But like I said, it's the majority of the companies that we work with. You have to read into the details on that. It's kind of complex. But so if you were... Um, a note holder and we made an investment like this is actually accurate so like robin hood and robin hood already exited you would get your pro rata share of the robin hood distribution that you know republic received as a fee from invest mm -hmm. from uh the carry that it got um that money actually goes into an escrow so we wait until it gets to a certain amount and we, we we actually pay it out to note holders um as as more money comes into it we further went with that and we actually have it exchange listed on a digital uh, securities exchange called INX. INX is a company that we, um, and this is public too, announced our intention to acquire uh, because we want to bring that into our ecosystem where companies raise capital with us, they are digitized, and then they are exchange listed where people from around the world, accredited or non-accredited, have access to be able to go in and trade so they can sell their shares or they can buy more shares of that particular company. So Republic was kind of the, uh, the, the trailblazer, if you want. Uh, we went through a lot of uh, back and forth with the SEC and, and then a little bit with FINRA, but finally got that through after several years. And it's exciting. We'll continue to you know, bring in new deals and they'll continue to be allocated, or at least our portion of the equity commission will be allocated to the note and it'll continue to grow over time. I, I know that's a huge deal. It took years of regulatory approval. That is not an easy thing to do. And essentially what you've done is you've created an, an indexed, you know, 
an index, quite literally, of the Republic platform and all the, the deals and things going through it, which I think is really, really cool. I don't know if um, we can call it that, but it, yeah, no, no, no. It's certainly I, I, a, my words, did. not yours. <laughs> it's certainly a security token, though, which is um, impressive in itself. Um, two years ago, a year ago, even security tokens were few and far. And now we've like blazed that trail. And the companies I mentioned before, the security token offerings for the major sport franchises, et cetera, film, music, whatever, they... They are going the security token around. Uh, I think a lot of us actually, because they were educated through um, what we did with Republic Note. So, so I, I know that opportunity for individuals with security tokens. Sometimes there's opportunities to earn security tokens rather than actually have to purchase them through the charter membership or anything else on Republic. Are there opportunities to earn Republic notes? Yes, there are. Um, we have a an event coming up in. I think I believe it's slated for April. If, 20, if the 22nd is a Monday, more information will be shared with the network members about it then, but it'll be an opportunity to get your hands on some, um, you know, additional freebies basically, but that will be coming up uh, in about a month. Got it. Very, very cool. Well, if there's no other questions from the crowd at this point, I, I think we could pretty much wrap here. Chuck, thank you so very much for your time today. I'm really excited about what you guys are up to with the charter membership again everything here is just about providing more access more education more information more research uh on private market investment opportunities i'm going to drop a link here which is if you want to sign up um you absolutely can so i'm going to put it in the chat and this is to sign up for the charter membership we'll also send out the link to this video um after we, we have a few minutes to kind of edit it up and then uh, we'll also send a link again to the opportunity to sign up for the charter membership. And of course, if you have any questions, let King's Crowd know, and then we could reach out to Republic and see um, if we get all of your questions answered if they weren't answered here today. But Chuck, thank you very much again for your, your time today. I really appreciate it.